Preventing major complication is our driver, you know, preventing strokes and preventing cognitive decline. Now the AI road is really valuable for that. Specifically in this study, we looked at the prediction of atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a uh, cardiac arrhythmia. It's the most common cardiac arrhythmia, and it's a common cause of stroke. Um, disability and cognitive decline in dementia. And so we wanted to find a way to predict which patient is at risk of having atrial fibrillation. Okay, beautiful. The new approach that we, uh, we have developed um, is based on uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, so using uh, electrocardiograms, recordings of the electrical activity of the heart for 10 seconds, and also using genetics. So the combination of both genetics and artificial intelligence using the ECG. And what we're about to see is uh, the server room where the uh, artificial intelligence algorithms learn uh, from electrocardiogram data to predict the atrial fibrillation. We have the ECG AI algorithm running here, and in this patient, it's analyzing the patterns of the ECG to predict the low risk of atrial fibrillation within five years. Here we have a, an ECG in another patient. The machine interpretation of the e electrocardiogram suggests, again, a normal rhythm. However, the AI looks at subtle patterns in the signal, including in the P wave, which is the, the, at, uh, the atrium where the AFib originates. And in this case, it predicts a high risk of atrial fibrillation. Once atrial fibrillation is recorded on a 12-second ECG, it's relatively easy for any physician with some ECG experience and training to recognize it. So that's not the difficult part. The difficult part is when the rhythm is normal, and the uh, results are really spectacular. The machine can learn from these hundreds of thousands of ECGs that are done at the Montreal Heart Institute to predict which patient will develop atrial fibrillation in the future. And these patients, we would monitor them more closely, for example, by prescribing a two-week monitor of their heart and to detect atrial fibrillation that's intermittent that could be missed by uh, the physical examination or a 10-second e electrocardiogram. If you had to take a guess, how long do you think it will be until this method is sort of used in a more general way for patients every day? I would say in the two to three years. Uh, yeah. That soon? Yeah. And, and more broadly on the AI implementation in clinical practice, I think it will happen in the very near future.